Hi, uh, I'm Anthony and I'm part of the GNU Radio Group and right now I will show you the Hello World program of GNU Radio and that would be dial tone. So I will show you how to uh, construct a dial tone program for GNU Radio um, on a computer right now. So I will be doing this using um, a program called the GNU Radio Companion also known as the GRC. So I'm going to start up the terminal now and open up the GRC by typing GRC in the terminal. It's starting up. Alright, let me close these files and build a dial tone from scratch. So, to make the US dial tone, I'm going to need two signal sources. Here you go. And I'm also going to get a noise source to simulate the static that you often hear on phones. <clears throat> now what we want to do with these uh, sources is add them together. Take an adder. And then I want to output this to my uh, speakers. So I want to add an audio sync. Now you notice the colors here are different from the input and output here. And that's because they're of different types. Um, this is of type float. And this blue means uh, complex. So I'm going to have to change uh, these blocks here to match this audio sync float type. So, if, and also the adder only has two inputs, but actually I need three inputs. So I'm going to go ahead and change that. I'll change the input output type to float, and I'm going to change the number of inputs to three. Set close. Good. Now I'm going to go ahead and click the out to the in to connect the blocks, and the signal sources. I'm also going to have to change. So I'm going to change this. Uh, output type to float, and I'll change the frequency to 350, which is the first frequency in the US dial tone, and I'll make the amplitude a lot smaller, like 0 0.1, so that'll be nice. And then, in the second signal source, I'll do the same thing, change the output type to float, and change the frequency to 440, the other frequency in the US dial tone, and change the amplitude to 0 0.1. And in the noise source, I'll change the output type to float, and make the amplitude much smaller so you don't hear overbearing static to 0 0.005. And I'm going to go ahead and connect these three sources. Also, um, due to the speakers I'm using, um, my, my speakers, my audio card, requires a sampling rate of 48,000. So I need to change this uh, default 32,000 to 48,000, 48 kilohertz. Go ahead. And that is the dial tone. So I will go ahead and run this program by clicking this gear up here. <coughs> so first I gotta save this program. So I'm gonna save it on my desktop. I'm gonna call it dialtone.grc. Okay, I'm saving it and now it's executing. Let me increase the volume here. It's here. That is the US dial tone. You can hear the two frequencies and you can also hear the noise in the background. Alright. Now, you could do a lot more with this program too. Um, say I wanted to adjust the frequencies. So I can add a variable slider. So I'm going to add two variable sliders, uh, one for each, <coughs> uh, each frequency. So I'm going to call this source frequency 1. I'm going to call it, so I'm going to give it a name, source frequency 1. Make the default value 350, but allow it to vary from 0 to 1,000 with a thousand steps. And then here for the second variable slider, I'll call it source frequency 2. Give it a label, source frequency 2. Default value 440 and vary from 0 to 1000 with a thousand steps. And now I have to go into my signal sources and change the frequency to source frequency 1 and source frequency 2. Alright? and Next thing I want to do, I want to add another variable slider to control the amplitude, the amount of noise that I have. So I'm going to call this noise amp as a label. I'm going to call it volume of the, the static. And at default value 0 0.005. Uh, let's make a minimum of 0 and maximum of 0 0.1 with 1,000 steps. That's fine. So I'm going to have to change the noise source amplitude to noise amp. Done. And now I'm going to launch my program again. And this time, I have some uh, parameters I could change. I could change the source frequencies, increase the frequency, 
decrease the frequency or decrease the frequency here or increase the noise as you see here the static is increasing or make there to be no noise and increase the frequency and let me set it back to the original settings 440 and 350 and this is the US uh, dial tone now um, let me open up a dial tone that I've already created and let me show you uh, a finished product and this uh, dial tone has more frequency uh, variables and when I run it not only can I control the frequency of the two signal sources I can control the volume of the two frequencies make one louder than the other or make it quieter and make the second one louder etc and I can also increase the noise or decrease the noise so you see you could do a lot with the GNU radio companion and using this you can very interactively um, configure your make programs uh, for um, the GNU radio or if you have a radio peripheral attached um, you can program everything in the GRC as well so this has been a presentation uh, by the GNU radio group thanks for watching